What's up everybody, Zaki here from Geek Culture bringing you another fantastic video. This time we have the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. Now as you can tell, this is not any other ordinary laptop. This has not one, but two displays. The main one being a 15.6 inch 4K OLED touchscreen display with HDR support and sharing 50-50 with the keyboard is yet another 4K touchscreen display also known as the ScreenPad Plus. More on that later. Now, as a creator myself, this laptop has some pretty amazing functions. And I know, yeah, it might seem gimmicky at first, but once we get to show you the different ways we can use this laptop with video editing, Photoshop, multitasking, even live streaming, eh, you might consider getting one for yourself. Boy, am I excited to show you guys what this can do. And if you are excited too, do give us a like down below. Stay tuned. Roll the thing. Now, before we begin, let's dabble a little bit into the specs here so we know what we're working with. You got the two main displays here, which is wonderful, it's really good. You may think that's the only feature, but what Asus has done is to take it up a notch and give you the best of the best solid hardware. In this particular model that we have here, we've got the latest 10th gen Intercore i9 CPU. We've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. We've got the RTX 3070 GPU. And not to mention a blazing fast one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. Whoa, well, that's a lot. And what Asus is trying to do here is to target creators like myself. We're talking about working on 6K, 8K footage. There you go. If you're a photographer and work with medium format images, this can help you with that. We're talking about sound designers talking about illustrators and even gamers and live streamers. It's an all-in-one package that will help you with your workflow and productivity as well. All that being said, let's hop over to the secondary display and talk about the ScreenPad Plus. All right, welcome to the ScreenPad Plus. Now I have my recording software plugged in and everything, so don't mind the wires and the mess. But what's important here is that you're probably wondering to yourself, why does the screen pop out like that? And that's because of ergonomic and design. Now, if you think about it, when I close the laptop, it goes flat like so. And then when I open it up, it bumps out like so. And this is to allow to get a nicer viewing angle. And on top of that, it just provides more ventilation and cooling. Now, you got some very high specs. So this laptop, you know, is meant to take a lot of power. And with power comes heat. And you know, you can feel the fans blowing like so, but it's still pretty quiet. And that's a very good thing. Now, of course you can see on the sidebar here, we've got somewhat of a control panel. From here, I can adjust the brightness of the ScreenPad Plus. I can go through App Navigator. So it helps me rearrange and manage apps between the main display and the ScreenPad Plus. Of course, I can disable or enable the keyboard, going back to home screen, and as well as enabling a bigger touch pad if I wanted to. And we have these four dots and this is just a quick shortcut to some of the apps. If you wanted a quick key, a quick shortcut key, such as cut, copy, paste, Screen Expert can do that for you. You can also customize it. So it's a, it's a quick fire way to actually set up some macros if you wanted to. Uh, next we have handwriting. Instead of typing because I'm lazy, I can actually write something and you know, type it in. I've also got a number pad and you know, a, a slew of other apps that you can try out if you're planning to get this ZenBook Pro Duo. Now with that being said, let's head on to video editing and I want to show you something pretty neat. So let's open up Premiere Pro. Boom, there you have it. Control panel will actually give you a customized layout of quick shortcut keys with dial sliders and buttons that you can customize yourself to whatever you need in terms of shortcut keys for your project. So I got some clips here at the ready and I'm gonna show you just a quick glimpse of what you can do. And you can see here that I got some time axis adjustments. So this will help me scroll through my timeline if I wanted to. It's very neat. The more aggressive you are, the more you skip ahead. Or you could actually go a little bit slow and it actually goes frame by frame. Very interesting. Right? I've also got a timeline zoom. 
So if I want to be a bit more precise into where I want to cut, I can do that. And I can just, you know, mark a clip if I wanted to. I can undo if I wanted to or redo. So this is just to give you a quick glimpse of what the ScreenPad Plus can do. It, it just helps you out with that workflow. You know, you don't have to have a, a loop deck or those big fancy equipment to just do the basic things you need to do with the ScreenPad Plus over here. Amazing. And with that, it's very easy to customize as well. If you go back to control setting. So as you can see, we got the control panel here. And this is the layout of what happens when you open Premiere Pro. You're free to change this however you want. Of course, I'm fine with this, but you're able to actually delete things if you wanted to, if you want to clean up the space. Let's do that, clean up space, move things over, and you can set up hotkeys as well. But this is just one of the few elements that makes this laptop, well, so amazing in my, in my personal opinion. So let's move on to Photoshop as well. All right, so we got Photoshop open. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our favorite friend, Gary Dogorilla. Here we go. And you can see that the ScreenPad Plus has changed a little bit. So this time we've got, you know, brush size, layer opacity. We've got a few other tools that we've added in. And this just gives you, you know, just more finesse and control over certain adjustments. So layer opacity, you can see that once we do that, we slowly bring it up, things like that. I know, it just works. And we can zoom in if you wanted to, right there, say hello, Gary. Yes, brilliant. Adjust our brush size as well. And the great thing is I have this, which comes with the Asus Zenbook. This is the Asus Pen. And it works perfectly for both screens, all right? So if I wanted um, to, you know, do more finesse control, the screen pad, I can do this, I can do the brush opacity, brush hardness, and things like that as well. Another great thing about the display here is that it's Pantone validated. So you're really getting very good color accuracy on both screens, all right? It's gonna come out just as good as print. So what you're seeing here, it's good to go for prints if you wanted to do anything with that. Now, of course, I will only work with photos. That's why we have Gary, the gorilla here. And, you know, with the Asus Pen, I can just do a little bit of light editing here. So I'm going to get the burn tool and start. Ooh, we don't need to learn it to go away. Just making just subtle adjustments to his face, make him a little bit darker, make him a little bit more poppy. So you can see if I'm making any difference at all. So much better, let's look at the difference here. Uh-huh, there we go. Don't you, don't you love that more? Damn, so good. So let's just say you would not do with the control panel and you know, you just wanna watch something off YouTube. Well, you can do that. So you are the master of your own destiny. All right, that's the most important thing. So I've got a YouTube video ready and all I need to do is just Bring this and drop it down. And you have full scale. You just expand and full screen this video. You can watch it while, you know, dabbling to work. And you know, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Of course, you can do anything while you can write documents or something while doing some other work. And it's pretty cool because let's just say you are reading the Geek Culture website, okay? If you haven't, please visit our website. We've got some cool reviews and stuff, but yes, enough of the shameless plug. Now you can see the ScreenPad Plus, it's not really that great in terms of readability. Like, why don't we have the whole thing blown up on both screens, right? If I send this here into full screen mode, boy, oh boy, look at that. So if I were to read an article or perhaps a review, you can see that, you know, it's so seamless. It's working toe in toe with both screens. And I can just scroll it as if I would on a tablet and things like that. It's just wow. And don't forget, we're able to go up to three tabs on the ScreenPad Plus. So again, I have the Geek Cultural website. I can just drag it to the right side over here. Let's open up title. Title will pop up in the middle. And on top of that, we can also have the number key. 
right? And they're just right here. Cool thing is, if this is like the quintessential workspace and you don't want to keep opening the same tabs every time you open the laptop, well, the ScreenPad Plus can save all of these panels at its arrangement right away. So all we need to do is to go into these four dots again, and you can see we've got like four groups here. These are called task groups. So all we need to do is create a new task group, and you can see that we can have a preferred layout. So of course, I've got my Photoshop open, I got my three tabs, so obviously you want to take one on the main screen and then three apps on the ScreenPad Plus. You can have up to four screens, on the main screen and three on the screen pad pass. It depends on your whole arrangement. And of course, I got one app, so I'm just gonna do that. I hit next, and you can either drag the applications into this box, or if you already have the applications open and you love this layout, all you need to do is just click capture, and boom, I've got Photoshop, the number key, title, and Microsoft Edge captured for me into these three panels. So let's go and test that. Select my third task group that I just captured. And of course, if the app is a little bit more demanding to load, it's gonna take a little time, but you know, you're free to do whatever you want while waiting. It's not that long anyway, isn't it? See, look at that, all pops up and you're ready to go. How amazing is that? So with this out of the way, let's go into gaming and streaming as well. All right, so as you can see, I've got the Elgato 4K60 hooked up to the laptop so we can have a nice true like free gaming. And on top of that, you know, this is something to simulate gameplay. And, and you know, with all the high specs on this laptop, I don't think you have to worry too much about gameplay here. But yeah, look, we are playing on high settings here. It's all good. Let's try and kill some zombies while we're here. And it's, it's just to simulate that you can actually do streaming on the laptop. So yeah, you can tell that if you're ever playing games on the main screen and you know you can lay out things in the ScreenPad Plus here as well. Of course, we have a, a pretty okay microphone and webcam, not gonna lie, but definitely still usable for your zoom chats and things like that and see with your zoom chats if you have had meetings and need to take down notes you can do it with the screen pad plus and yeah i got a stream chat here i can look over at obs and monitor my games and such as that so that's 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 pretty much it actually oh yes okay here we go Ooh, that's hot. Oh, yeah. coffee helps coffee helps a lot there's, there's so much versatility with this laptop. I mean, it's got the power to do the things you need to do, multitasking, running multiple apps and tabs and whatnots. It makes you use the touchscreen functions on the laptop itself. You know, you, we see a lot of laptops these days with touchscreen functions and yet we fail to use them. I would say that ASUS has done a really good job in really making this a purposeful and functional laptop in that sense. Then again, this is not meant to be a review, so. If you really enjoyed this video, do let us know down in the comments below if you're gonna get yourself a ZenBook Pro Duo. Are there any other creative users you would like us to do? Just let us know down there, guys. And of course, do check out the links in the description below to check out more about the details and pricing. Give us a like and do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot and click the bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload new videos. Till then, this is Zeki, signing off. Wahoo! A dual screen, yeah.